Here's a quick tip for how to think about the sliding window problem that you might see in an interview. So here's an example on leak code, which is minimum size sub array sum. So you're looking for within a given array, the smallest sub array that add up to greater than or equal to the target, which in this case is seven. Now I've kind of written out the steps that I would do mentally to help you recognize the patterns. So I would start with the first number and I would go from the first number to the next to the next until I get a total of seven or greater. And that takes four numbers to do. Then I would go to the next number, do the same thing, which also takes four numbers, then go to the next number, which then would take three numbers, one, two, and four. Then the next number, which would take three numbers, two, four, and three. And then the last one is four and three, which only takes two. Now, the thing to recognize here is if you write this out, you can see that we are recalculating the same thing over and over again. So three plus one plus two, then one plus two plus four, then two plus four, then four plus three, et cetera. So if you start to recognize that pattern, that will help you solve the sliding window problem that you might see in an interview.